fires its first H-bomb to join the United States and Russia as ranking atomic powers. The thermonuclear device was fired high over its target in the Christmas Islands, keeping fallout at a minimum. But the test added heat to the mounting debate over the safety of atomic tests and came to on the eve of renewed disarmament talks between Russia and the West. With a limitation on further atomic tests increasing in possibility, Britain has staked its claim to full status as a nuclear world power, perhaps none too soon. On patrol, a ship of shame is down there in the deep. In control of nothing, it wanders while we sleep On its bow a warrior name It hides among the fishes Its daily mission still the same No hope, dreams or wishes On vanguard and victorious Vigilant and vengeance The pride of England's glory Hides from our attention Our scanners and our schools they take Our welfare and our pensions Our international rules they break our treaties and conventions Each one has 48 warheads on board And each one eight times meaner Than the one that shamed the world at war In the fires of Hiroshima But vanguard and victorious Vigilant and vengeance They're waiting for an upgrade And they're standing to attention Down, 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 Derry, down At Faz Lane they wait their time To take their turn of duty Drag their cargo through the brine And undermine its beauty When in Devonport the tritium Leaked into the Tamar In Plymouth town the fight was on To eliminate the danger But on vanguard and victorious, vigilant and vengeance They pay no mind to protest, they have only one intention To go down, 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 very down Down, 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 very down They'll drag us down, 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 very down. I think we should just consider for a moment what a nuclear weapon actually is. It is a weapon of mass destruction. In, if ever used, it can only kill large numbers of civilians. They've only once been used in war, and that was in Japan in 1945, and we still see the consequences 
in the cancers and the destruction and the horror of very old people in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I think everyone who is about to make a decision on what we do about our nuclear weapons should think about the humanitarian effects on wholly innocent people anywhere across this globe if they're ever used. We live in a world where so many things are possible, where peace is possible in so many ways and so many places. You achieve peace through democracy, through respect for human rights, through ending inequality, through sharing resources. You don't achieve peace by planning for war and grabbing each other's resources and not respecting each other's human rights. Drag us down.